Hi guys, the Benny Dorm Enthusiast here and today we're bringing you the ultimate guide to Benny Dorm weather month by month. What's the weather like in May? How warm is it in November? Should I pack t-shirts and jumpers, flip-flops or boots? These are the sorts of questions we see asked on social media every single day. Obviously, nobody can predict the weather with any certainty months in advance, but what we can do is go through the monthly weather averages for you and I hope to give you an idea of the climate here in Benidorm so that you can make a better informed choice of which time of year suits you best weather-wise. Starting with January, one of the coldest months of the year on average, but in general it's quite a dry month. In January, the daily maximum temperatures are around 16 degrees, rarely falling below 12 and rarely exceeding 20. The daily minimum temperatures are 8 degrees, rarely falling below 4 and rarely exceeding 12 degrees. The warmest hours of the day are between 12 midday and 5 p.m. You can often sit very comfortably in the sun during these hours as the feels like temperature in the sun is a good few degrees higher than the air temperature. Providing there's no wind of course, as that can make it feel much more chilly. You definitely need to layer up as the temperatures can rise and drop quite rapidly throughout the day. Early morning and nights are cold, you will need a jacket or even a coat for the hours outside the peak temperature times. It's considered a wet day when more than one millimetre of liquid falls. In Benidorm in January, the chance of a wet day is pretty consistent and pretty low. Only 14% chance of a wet day on average during this month. The average rainfall for the whole month is 22 millimetres, rarely exceeding 50 millimetres and rarely less than 4 millimetres. On to February, another cold but relatively dry month for us here. In February the daily maximum temperature is again around 16 degrees, rarely falling below 12 and rarely exceeding 21. The average daily minimum is 1 degree warmer than January at 9 degrees, rarely do dropping below 5 and rarely exceeding 13. Very much the same as January when it comes to your clothes, always a good idea to have layers to put on and take off as the day progresses and yes you'll still need a jacket or a coat at night. Rainfall is very similar to January with the probability of us having a wet day staying low at 14%. When it rains there generally is a little more of it though, average rainfall for February is 23mm over the whole month, rarely exceeding 52mm and rarely dropping below 3mm. March is when we start to see the weather changing as we come out of winter and enter spring. This is the month it starts warming up again, but it could be wetter. At the start of March, the average daily maximum is 17 degrees, rises into 19 degrees by the end of the month. The maximum temperature rarely drops below 13 or exceeds 22. The average minimum temperature at the start of the month is 9 degrees, rising to 11 degrees at the end of the month and minimum temperatures rarely drop below 6 degrees or exceed 14. You'll start to see more people on the beach in March. It can be very pleasant sat in the sun during the peak hours of the day. I wouldn't personally be going swimming in the sea or in the swimming pools yet, but some do. I suppose it depends how brave you are really. Statistically, it is another fairly dry month with chances of a wet day still low, starting at 13% at the beginning of March and going up to 14% at the end. However, I have personally witnessed some incredibly fierce storms here in March when the streets have turned to rivers and I'm sure some of our viewers have been here and seen that too. So do be aware that if one of those wet days does hit us, it can be pretty in extreme intense rainfall. I'd describe it more of a washout than a wet day. The average rainfall for March is therefore higher at 24 millimetres. Into April and temperatures are getting more comfortable now. The average daily maximum goes from 19 degrees at the start of the month to 20 at the end. Maximums rarely drop below 15 degrees and rarely exceed 23. Daily minimums also rise from 11 degrees at the beginning of March to 13 at the end. The minimum barely drops below 8 or exceeds 16 degrees. The warmer part of the day is longer now, from 9am to 8pm it feels fresh in the shade but get sat in a sun trap area and you can easily sunbathe during these hours on a sunny still day. 
You will see plenty of people at the beach and around the pools and some people will be swimming in the sea and the pools too. There is a slightly higher chance of rainy days in April however, the chance of a wet day this month is 15% and if it does rain it's likely there will be much more of it. If we haven't had one of those big storms in March it may well come in April. They usually only last a couple of days but can be very heavy. Average rainfall over the whole month is 26 millimetres, rarely exceeding 63 millimetres or being less than 4 millimetres. The average rainfall is higher for the second half of the month than the first, suggesting more rainfalls towards the end of the month. May is one of my favourite months when it comes to the weather. Although still a spring month, we start feeling those summer vibes in Benidorm as it really does start hotting up. Daily maximum temperatures on average go from 20 degrees at the start of the month to 24 at the end. Very, very pleasant for sunbathing and not too hot for walking about or doing excursions and things like that either. The maximum temps rarely fall below 18 degrees and rarely exceed 26. The nights are warming up too now. The average minimum temperatures go up 4 degrees during May from 13 degrees at the start of the month to 17 at the end. From the middle of the month it's generally comfortable enough to sit outside on the terraces to eat and drink on a night without the need for a jacket. The minimums rarely fall below 11 degrees or exceed 19. Over the month of May the chance of a wet day drops rapidly from 16% to 9% probability from the start to the end of the month. The average rainfall decreases a lot too from 28mm at the start of the month to 14mm at the end. On to June and another month when I love the weather here. Summer starts in June and the temperatures for me are just perfect. The average daily maximum temp is 24 at the start of June rising to 27 by the end of the month. The maximums rarely drop below 21 or exceed 30. Although in recent years we have seen some heat waves in June that have seen that maximum temperature smash through the 30 degree limit. You won't need any extra layers for the nights in June. Average minimum temperatures go from 17 to 20 from the beginning to the end of the month. The minimums rarely drop below 15 or exceed 23 degrees. June is a dry month. The probability of a wet day is just 9% at the start of the month, dropping to 4% at the end. And on the rare occasion we do get rain in June, there isn't much of it at all. Average rainfall decreases, starting the month at 13 millimetres and ending with an average of just 6 millimetres of rain. July in Benidorm and summer is in full swing. It is hot, hot, hot. Daily max temperatures go from 27 degrees at the start of the month to 29 at the end. The maximum rarely drops below 25 and rarely exceeds 31. That's according to the statistics. But the last couple of years we have had heat wave in July that have seen temperatures peak well past 31 on several occasions. The nights feel tropical. Average minimum temps from 21 to 21 degrees in July. Minimum clothing is required day and night to enjoy the summer months here. Early mornings remain comfortable but from 10am it is hot and it stays hot until the early hours of the morning. It's one of the driest months of the year July. The chance of a wet day is just 3% with very little rainfall if we do get any at all. Just 4mm on average for the whole month. Humidity levels start to rise quite rapidly in July. The probability that a day will be muggy rises from 56% to 81% over the course of the month. August, the hottest and the most humid month of the year. And the month most of us that live here complain, it's too hot. Daily maximum temps are 28 degrees over the whole month. The average max temperature rarely falls below 26 or exceeds 31 degrees. According to the stats that we have seen over the last few summers, maximum temperatures peak well over 31 degrees during quite a few heat wave periods. It is Scorchio in August and doesn't cool down much at night either. The average daily minimum temp is 22 degrees. It rarely drops below 20 or exceeds 25 overnight. The chance of rain starts to increase during August as we head towards autumn. The probability of rain at the start of August is just 2%, rising to 9% at the end of the month. 
The average amount of rainfall is also increasing over the month too, starting at just 3 millimetres and creeping up to 17 millimetres by the end of the month. It's a very dry month in general, but if we are to get any rain, more likely it is going to be towards the end of August. It's very humid in August and it's the humidity which can make it feel uncomfortable. The chance of it being muggy on a day in August is around 80% for the duration of the month, so very likely to be humid right the way through. Finally, after the heat of the summer, September arrives. Another one of my favourite months when it comes to the weather. Slightly cooler and less humid, but still very much feeling those summer vibes. Daily maximums decrease from 28 to 25 over September. The maximum rarely drops below 23 or exceeds 31. The nights are still fabulously warm too, though cooling down slightly. Minimum temperatures drop from 22 degrees down to 18 over the course of the month. There is a higher probability of rainfall as we get through September. At the start of the month, 9% chance of a wet day. By the end of the month, that goes up to an 18% chance. It's a month when we could see one of those mega storms again, the post summer storms as we like to call it. If that hits, we can get intense rain for a couple of days. It's more likely to happen towards the end of the month. Average rainfall over September starts at 18 millimetres and gets up to 40 millimetres at the end of the month. I love it when the big storm hits. It's over in no time really. It clears the air ready for a very enjoyable autumn and the humidity drops. By the end of September, there's only a 33% chance of it being a muggy day. October is another month with lovely temperatures. The average maximums go from 25 at the start of the month to 22 at the end. Still very much sunbathing weather. The nights can start to get a little chilly from the middle of the month onwards though, when the average minimum temperatures drop down to around 16 degrees. You may need a light jacket or a caddy if you want to sit outside on an evening, just in case. Or if you're an early bird, it can still feel quite fresh first thing on a morning, but from 10am to around 8pm the temperatures are very comfortable. Warm enough to top up your tan, but not too hot or too humid to be out doing activities if you prefer a more active holiday. It is one of the months with a higher chance of rain. Throughout the month of October, the probability of having a wet day is 19%. And if it does rain, oh, it pours. One of the months with the highest average rainfall, 40 millimetres for the duration of October. November, the last autumn month and the coolest of them. The average maximum temperatures drop below the 20 degree mark during November. That's usually the turning point for me when I start to get my jeans and my hoodies out. Of course, you will see tourists in shorts and t-shirts still during the day, and there are still plenty of people on the beach in bikinis and speedos. It just depends what you're acclimatized to. I would advise bringing some warmer clothes for the nights though in November. Long trousers rather than shorts on a night and again perhaps a light jacket or a cardi if you want to spend your evenings outside. The average minimum temperatures drop into the low teens and it can get as low as 11 overnight by the end of November. At the start of the November, the probability of rain is very high in comparison to the rest of the year. 20% chance of a wet day, which is actually the peak point for the chance of rainfall. That figure decreases over the month as we head towards December, generally a drier month. By the end of November, there's just 14% chance of a wet day. The average amount of rainfall decreases over the month too, starting at 38 millimetres and dropping to 32 millimetres by the end of the month. Those figures surprise me. I don't think of November as a rainy, wet month, really. Maybe that's because we generally don't get those mega storms in November, so the rainfall seems minimal in comparison to me. It's probably more spread out. December, the last month of the year and the start of winter. The average maximum temperatures in December go from 18 degrees to 16 degrees. This is when you'll need to find a sheltered spot to top up your tan comfortably. Lovely, lovely temperatures to sit outside on bar and restaurant terraces during the day, but not so much beach going weather. Not for me personally anyway, it's a little bit too cold for sunbathing for me. 
Saying that, this last December we had a good few days when the temps hit 20 degrees or higher and there were plenty of people enjoying the beach. I wouldn't recommend swimming in the sea though, that will be cold, as will the swimming pools. If you like to swim on your holiday, you'll be best at looking for a hotel with a heated pool during winter in Benidorm. December nights get cold. You'll need more than a cardi or a light jacket, probably a coat and maybe even a scarf and hat if you're anything like me. Minimum temperatures can drop down into single figures in December. The average overnight temperature is just 10 degrees. Early mornings are cold too and the warmest part of the day is from 11am to 6pm when it's considered fresh rather than comfortable in the shade. December is a fairly dry month, the chance of rainfall at the start of the month is 16%, dropping down to 14% by the end of the month. Average rainfall drops quite dramatically as well as we get into winter. 32mm average at the start of December and that figure decreases to 23mm at the end of the month. I hope you found this video useful in deciding which month is best for you to visit, going by the average weather. Of course, there are never any guarantees with the weather, no matter where in the world you travel to or what time of year it is. Benidorm has its own microclimate, which can make long-term forecasts very difficult. They very rarely get the forecast correct here, more than a week in advance. The mountains that surround Benidorm protect it from some of the more extreme weather conditions other parts of the Costa Blanca experience. We get around 300 sunny days a year here in Benidorm, really can't complain at that. And I do love that we have very different seasons. During the peak of summer, I normally whinge it's too hot and during the peak of winter, I can't wait for it to warm up again. But I am British and I just love to moan about the weather as most Brits do. It's absolutely perfect for me around six months of the year during the spring and the autumn months. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer what I can. Please subscribe to our channel. It's completely free. You just have to click the button, which means you're following what we do. Click that beer mug in the corner. And also click the bell so you receive notifications when we upload a new video. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, X and TikTok at The Benidorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.